Ah. Dear Diary, this has been a wonderful year for whiskey. These are some of my favorites this far. Whiskey! Welcome to a very special edition of Two Finger Spirits. We got the camera shy, camera guy. Back here as usual. We got the live studio audience. Woo! And I'm Brandon. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody who has stuck with us for this year. It's been an amazing year. We've learned a lot. We laughed, we cried. Well, we mostly laughed at the camera guy crying, but it's been fun, right? This has been a, a wild ride for the past year. We've had a lot of fun. I think I've learned so much. And uh, what's special about this video, this is gonna be a quick rundown of some all of our, our favorite whiskeys, right? All of our favorite whiskeys that we reviewed this year. We're going to highlight many of them, and we'll probably miss a few, but... That's okay. We'll do them next year, then. Right, so this is our favorites of 2021. Who knows, our favorites may change for 2022, but at that moment, this is what we love. So here we go. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. This was a wonderful whiskey. We've had several bottles of it this year, right? We've had several bottles of the Single Barrel Barrel Proof. And we, uh, we had the Koi Hill, we've got the Koi Hill still, but this one's more readily available. Yeah, this would be the one that we want to sip on during, during the video. And here. it's such a great value. At $65. 128 proof, oof, 65 bucks, readily. So wonderful. Easy to find. So that's definitely on our, our list for 2021. Mm. Next we got... Elijah Craig. So this, you're holding a C batch there. I think my favorite of the year the, was, was the B batch. Definitely the B but batch. I left the B batch at my, my bar at home. This, Obtanium, we did two, re, well, we've reviewed three bottles of this Cat's Eye Obtanium. It, it is outstanding. It's a little harder to get. Uh, this proof on this one was what, 135.2. We've had yeah. it as high as what, 140, I don't remember. 147. As high as 147. You can get it from Haskell's online, and they're from Minnesota. And it's a phenomenal pour. We can't get Smoke Wagon in Connecticut, but we've got it a few times. So my brother went to Nevada and got me this one, and uh, we've got ordered it off of Flavia. What's the proof in MSRP of that one? That was like know. 111. Oh no, it's 56.6. Do the math. I don't know, like 113.2? Yeah. Alright. And we cannot leave out barrel bourbon. Barrel bourbon. We've had a bunch this year. We had two different store tricks. We had, I think that one's batch 28. We had yep. batch 29. I want to say we had batch 24. All those, Fantastic. any barrel bourbon was, mm -hmm. they're all slightly different than each other, but they've all been rock solid pours. They're closer to $90 to $100 a bottle, but yeah. it's a great, great bourbon. Nice proof. I think that one is like 117 ish, but they're all around there. I think we've had them as high as like 120 something. This C batch is 108. Oh no, yeah, this this uh barrel is 108. Nice, that's a good one. And uh, somebody forgot to take out the Remus, but we really wanted to give Remus an honorable mention. Remus Five came out this year. It is excellent. You know, they're, but they're excellent every year. Excellent, and it is a limited release, so. And then on to the rise. Talk about some rise. I just drove around all over the th three surrounding towns looking for a bottle of seagrass by barrel craft spirits because i think that's probably the best rye of the year without a doubt i think seagrass without a doubt without a doubt there's nothing better than the seagrass in terms of rye it's fantastic it's a little pricey but it's really good it 90 bucks not yeah. so bad right the runner's up the willet family four-year estate rye which is excellent and what proof is that this one's a 111 I had the seven year, uh, my friend Patrick Medusa gave me a sample of the seven year. And the new Rift single barrel ride, this is uh, just outstanding. This is 105 proof. I think upcoming pretty soon, we're gonna do these blind to see which one I like better. That'll be really fun. They're both really good. The Willet comes in about, about $50 MSRP. It's hard to find at that price, but that's the MSRP yeah. of, of the Willet. I think I just paid $59 for it. I, I think you I got, got it for $54. I, I did. Our buddy James hooked you up with a bottle of that. And this is a MSRP right around the same, and you can find it for a little less expensive than the Willet, right? So those would be three to check out. The Seagrass, the Willet, if you can find it, and the New Riff. Mm. I think the Seagrass is phenomenal. A little bit expensive, but... You know, you're, you're going to spend $50 anyway. Yeah. So, and that one's a little bit more pricey, but that'd be something to check out. Yeah. 
And I, I want to give Whistlepick six year an honorable mention. Yeah. I, some people might give me flack for not picking a 10 year, but I like that six year. It's a good price point. You, you, you can get it everywhere. And you got a good proof on that one, too. Yeah, it's Honda proof. So it, it, it's good. I think we just threw that bottle out, too. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's move on to some scotches. All right. We, we did a lot of scotches. Anybody that watched the channel knows that I prefer Isla scotches. Same here. So uh, the number one for this year, oh, Lafroy yeah. 10 cask strength. Not the regular Lafroy 10, which is which also is good, very, very good. But we tried them side by side. I don't think we did it in video, but we've had them side by side. The well, cask strength just... It's, it's just so full of flavor. It's so delicious. If you like Isla scotches, that's I would say that's our number one favorite. For First runner up. The Oogadol. This Ardbeg Oogadol is so good. And it is a cash strength as well. 54%, 54.2. You're looking at 108. So good. 108. Price point on that is roughly about what? Uh, I think it's close to 100 now. And Lafroyd was about. Is 100. Yep. Yeah. Give or take. And I don't know how much longer this is going to be around because I think this was a limited release. But this Nick Offerman Lagavulin 11 year finished in Guinness casks. Yeah. It's so good. It's got the little Guinness thing on the side of the box. Yeah, yeah, the harp. This was so good. Age 11 years, only 46%, but man, I tell you, that is delicious. 46, you're still up there. Yeah, no, that's delicious. I love it. What's the price point on the Lucka Uh, I think that was like 80-ish. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So those are Isla Scotches. And I would say a good runner-up for, also for an Isla Scott, we love the Wee Beastie. You know, Wee BC is just like a casual go-to. $54 for a Wee BC. I got a bunch of bottles for $40 up in uh, up in New Hampshire. Yeah. And like, you can't beat that for $40. I bucks. love it. I love it. So I want to do, do give it a mention. It's an excellent, excellent pour. And we're going to throw in a budget, which is... Best budget of the year for us. Larceny. However, when we started drinking this Larceny, it was $24 for a, for a $750, I right? I've got it for $27. I've seen it as low, lower than 25. We've seen it. But this one was is no longer budget. How much was this one? 37 out the door. Which is kind of taking you out of the budget spot, isn't it? Yeah, because anything under 30 I'd call budget. So. I would like to mention that you know at, at one point it was the best budget, but now, it, now it's getting into a regular price. It might be up there because Heaven Hill went on strike for a little while at the end of the year. And uh, so... But I tell you, if you're, if you're on a budget... This was the uh, live studio audience's uh, one of her favorites of, of hands down her favorite whiskey, but then she tried the Old Elk, which is another weeded. But that's $65, and you, you prefer the Old Elk over this. I do. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll do a blind. We'll do a that blind video be between fun. this and the Old Elk. Oh, 2022 is coming. We got yeah, a lot of, yeah, lot we've got of, time a lot of bottles coming. We, uh, I can't wait to do some more reviews. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, a couple questions. All right, Brandon. Price aside, you're on a desert island, you get to bring 10 bottles with you, but it has to be the same bottle. It doesn't matter, you can get anything you want. Really? Yep, There's, you don't have to worry about price, you don't have to worry about availability, you get, you're taking 10 bottles to an island, what would you take? Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof, and you would have never guessed me being a Jack guy because I hate the old number seven. Yeah, you do hate the older. I enjoy the old number seven just as a mixer, but no, all right. Mix, so you would take mix, the, you would take the Jack Daniels. Yeah. What about you? I would take the Elijah Craig if I can if I can get batched. Batch, I would yeah. take the Elijah Craig be batched with me. We'll have to do a blind with that coming up in this that year. That would be so fun. And I want to give a special shout out to the people that have been commenting on our videos. We got the uh, B D Wilcox. Yep. We got the Cosmos Mariner. We got the Celebrity Whiskey Death Match. Um, we really appreciate everyone chiming in, telling us their their thoughts, their experiences, what they like. And we've learned a lot from them. We have. And yes. they've also given us a lot of great suggestions yes. that we actually want to try. We're going to do a video based upon one of the comments that B.D. Wilcox did, which is adding some water to these higher proof whiskeys and see how it okay. changes it um, for, for better or worse. We just want to try it because yeah. you know, it was a recommendation, a suggestion. We love our, our viewers. We really appreciate each and every one of you. It means the world to us that you would give us any time out of your busy days. We know life is, uh, you know, not easy always. So yeah. that's why there's whiskey. <laughs> so and what do you think, Brandon? I think I want to end this one with a little quote from George Sand. I heard this quote from the movie Love Song for Bobby Wong. Fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest it. 
We cannot tear out a single page of our lives, but we can throw the whole book into the fire. I have no idea what that means. Think about it, all right? I'll try to. Ponder over a whiskey. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been a great year. Here's Cheers to, 2000, to you all. 2022. We have a lot of great bottles coming up. Like, subscribe. Comment. Comment. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>